Now this here is the Creality Ender 2 Pro 3D printer. Now it's one of, if not the cheapest 3D printer that money can buy. And for the price, it is amazing. If you've ever considered buying a 3D printer, but just not taken the leap, this is the printer for you, I can assure you that. When we first started 3D printing, we looked for the cheapest 3D printer that we could buy, simply because we didn't know much about it and we didn't know whether we'd actually be able to make it work. And at the time, that ended up being the original Creality Ender 2. Now these were great for us and they worked for a really long time and we ended up owning four of these machines at one point because for a beginner they were great to learn how 3D printing works and modify to make as you liked. Now they cost us £200 all the way back in 2017 and this is what the current Ender 2 Pro 3D printer looks like and it only costs around £150 depending on where you're getting it from and while recording this video it's only £120 on the Creality website which is an absolute bargain. The setup is incredibly simple requiring only six screws which is a massive improvement compared to the original Ender 2 which basically had to be built from scratch kit form. Once assembled you can use the display here which is taken from a Ender 3 series printer to navigate to the temperature settings to enable the PLA hot end which will let you load the filament. This is done by pulling in this lever and then pushing the filament through the hole until you see plastic starting to seep out of the nozzle. You can then insert the micro SD card, no Creality Cloud app with this printer however you can't really complain for the price. And back over to the display you can go to print from media and then select our file and then press print. Now I'm aware I've missed a couple of things out such as bed leveling and the reason that I'm not going too deep into all of the setup process in this video is because we are going to be producing a small mini series on this 3D printer of exactly step by step from taking it out of the box to getting fine quality prints and even a few really cheap upgrades. So look out for that in the future and I will explain everything you need to do to fully set the printer up, including bed leveling. So I'm gonna go over a few of the features that I absolutely love about this printer. And the first is belt tensioners. Now on the old printers, you, and even so the original Ender 3s, you had to print these yourself and modify the printer, but not on this printer. It comes with them stock on both the X and the Y axis. And that's a really important thing to improve the quality of your prints to make sure that your belts are nice and tight. It also has a carrying handle, which is a very useful feature considering how light and portable the printer already is. And carrying on with that idea of portability, take a look at this. You can just take the filament right off, fold in the filament holder, pop off the screen and put that up on the printer, and go and put your printer away. It's that easy. On the side, it has a lovely large tool drawer where you can put in all of the tools that the printer comes with, and this will allow you to modify, upgrade, and repair your printer without needing to buy any other tools. And it's also got the master power switch next to it. It has a magnetic print bed, so you can simply just lift up the bed, bend it slightly, and pull your part off without needing to use any scrapers or knife blade edges to pry your part off. So, what kind of quality is this printer capable of? Well, here's a couple of tramway sides that I printed. They both look pretty good. But would you believe me if I told you that one of these is printed on the £120 Ender 2 Pro, and one of these is printed on a £400 Creality Sirmoon V1 Pro? They look basically identical, don't they? But in fact, the bottom one there, with the little bit of warping around the edges, that was actually printed on the £400 Sirmoon. So the Creality Ender 2 Pro is really giving their high-end printers a run for their money. And on the print overhang test, we can actually see that it is a perfect print. There is a tiny little bit of stringing right at the very top steep angles. But apart from that, it's perfect. This is the default test file for this printer that it comes with preloaded onto the SD card. Nice little Easter bunny with Easter coming up. And the quality on that is, again, really, really nicely. Uh, there's a few layer lines on it, but that is more just settings than the print quality. And finally, the 3D Benchy. It's not a particularly fast print. It did take two and a half hours to print this Benchy. However, again, as you can see, the quality is very nice. There's no layer lines, no stringing, and there's very little warping around the base. 
So it's time to go over the things that I dislike about this printer. Now looking at the price of £150 normally, £120 on discount at the moment, I can't give you a single thing I don't like about this printer. Not for the price. £120, £150, even £200 for this printer. It's incredible. The quality that is coming out of it, the relatively quiet printing, the ease of setup, it's all just perfect for a beginner. And there's nothing that I can immediately say, oh, I wish this was better for that price. Now there are, of course, the plastic extruder clip up at the top, that is gonna break eventually, but you can replace them with a Creality metal extruder for about 10 pounds. So it's really a non-issue. Yes, it has weaker bed springs. Again, you could upgrade the bed springs in the future. They're a couple of quid. It's got preloaded belt tensioners. It has a dual cooling fan for the part cooling. This printer has so many features packed into it for the price that I am shocked it is as cheap as it is. So 100% fully going to recommend this printer to anyone who has ever considered buying a printer but not actually taken the leap of faith to get one. This is the printer for you.